The Israel-Hamas war seems to have gotten worse by the day Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi group launched a large number of drones and ballistic missiles towards Israel after Israel's military said it downed an approaching aerial target off the Red Sea city of Ayalat. Houthi military claimed that the operation was the third target Israel and there would be more. It also claimed that the attacks would continue until Israeli aggression stopped referring to the war against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Israel, however, has said that it remained focused on the Gaza Strip despite attempts by the Houthi movement to challenge Israel. This is actually one of the big developing angles in this crisis. Uh, the Syrian front, where the Syrian army, which is backed by Iran, uh, has been uh, hitting, uh, trying to hit Israeli positions using artillery. Uh, there's been a big response to that using artillery from the Israeli side. Uh, but you know, but the Houthi, the Houthi uh, uh, rebels who are also backed by Iran based in Yemen, launching not just cruise missiles, but also ballistic missiles and drones, uh, uh, you know, at Israeli territory, uh, has been a big escalation. And unlike the Hamas, uh, the Houthis have conventional standoff range weapons that are capable of, uh, you know, uh, uh, much more damage than Hamas rockets. You know, ballistic missiles, uh, uh, you know, hybrid missiles, uh, long range drones of the kind uh, that, the, the, that the Houthis had launched at oil fields in Saudi Arabia a few years ago. Uh, cruise missiles that were intercepted by the United States. Uh, you know, this is this is not a ragtag jihadi outfit. Uh, they have they they have jihadi ideology, but their capability is much more conventional and on lines with the real military. So, if that escalates, it could go uh, into a kind of violent spiral. Uh, Israel's anti-missile defense system, called the Arrow, actually is said to have intercepted a ballistic missile over the Red Sea uh, yesterday or the day before. Uh, so, if such conventional or long-range weapons continue to be, uh, you know, aimed at Israel, it could easily, uh, you know, draw in other Arab countries. Israel could respond conventionally with long-range strikes. The United States has two big uh, aircraft carrier battle groups in the region. They've been, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, sort of on the threshold of getting involved. So far, they've been only defensive in nature, but it's probably just a hair trigger away from things spiraling completely out of control and becoming much larger than just Israel versus Hamas in Gaza. So we've got, in fact, reactions that have been coming in. Let's listen in. Our armed forces launched a large batch of ballistic and winged missiles and a large number of drones targeting various targets of the Israeli enemy in the occupied territories. The Yemeni armed forces confirmed that this operation is the third operation to support our oppressed brothers in Palestine and confirm that they will continue to carry out more qualitative strikes with missiles and drones until the Israeli aggression stops.